This video shows you how to create custom materials in RHVAC Online. First, let's create a custom floor. Click the Loads menu. Click Edit Favorites Recent Custom Materials. Select Custom for the list type. Select Floors for the material type. Click Add New Custom Item. For the floor type, select 19 over enclosed crawl space or basement. For the construction code of our custom floor, enter any text you like, but the first character must not be a number. For floors and all other types of materials, when the first character of the construction code is not a number, that tells the program that the material is a custom one that was created by the user. Enter My Floor for the construction code. You may determine the U-value for this floor in several ways. 1. Use the U-factor calculator. 2. Get it from a manufacturer or from an online search. Or 3. Estimate it based on the standard materials. Here's the U-factor calculator program that is included when you install the Windows version of RHVAC. It's pretty easy to learn, and we will cover how to use this program in another video. This custom floor is almost the same as the 19C-38SP standard floor, except that it will have R45 blanket instead of R38. So we will estimate the new U value to be 0.025 based on the U values of the standard floors. Our custom floor will not be radiant. If the custom floor you're entering is not over a crawl space, you may ignore the crawl space inputs. The crawl space wall U value will need to be 0.104. And our crawl space will also be sealed. Our description will be similar to that of the 19C-38SP floor, except that it will have R45 insulation. Click Save to create the custom floor. Now let's return to the room data page and add our new custom floor to the room. Click the Loads menu. Click Room Data. Click the Material button to select our floor. Click Custom. Click Select. Our custom floor will remain in our custom material list from now on, so we can select it again whenever we need it. Let's click the S button to save this floor material to the default room, and then we'll add another instance of my floor to this room. Now mouse over the D button for floor 2 and select my floor from the default room. We can see that my floor has been added to the default room's list of floors. Now let's make a custom roof and add it to this room. Click the Loads menu. Click Edit Favorites Recent Custom Materials. Select Roofs for the material type. Click Add New Custom Item. Select the type to be 16 under Attic with Insulation on Attic Floor. Remember that the construction code for custom materials must start with a character that is not a number. Enter 0.061 for the U value. The CLTD index is a number that represents which Manual J table for roof CLTD values to use. Let's look at the help in order to see what to enter. Click the Help on Current Page button in the toolbar. For the CLTD index, select an item where the Type column is the same as your roof's type, 16 for us. We will select index number 3. Set the CLTD index to 3. 
enter a description. Click Save to create the custom roof. Now let's return to the Room Data page and add our new custom roof to the room. Click the Loads menu. Click Room Data. Click the Material button to select the roof. Click Custom. Click Select. Now let's do a custom basement wall. Click the Loads menu. Click Edit Favorites Recent Custom Materials. Select Walls from the Material Type. Click Add New Custom Item. Select 15 Basement Wall for the type. Basement walls are a little different than other types of walls in that they each include a depth below grade and an above grade U value. For a basement wall, the construction code must end with a dash followed by the number of feet below grade of the bottom of the wall. Our wall will be 6 feet below grade, so add dash 6 to the end of the construction code. RHVAC will use this value along with the height you enter for the wall to determine how much of the wall is above grade and how much is below grade. The U value of a basement wall is only for the below grade part of the wall and includes the path that goes through the wall and through the soil to the outside air. All walls require a group code, which is a letter from A to K that indicates the thermal mass of the wall. The A walls are the lightest weight and cause a cooling load the quickest, while K walls are the heaviest and take a long time to cause a cooling load. Click Help on Current Page to learn more about the group input. Group code G looks about right for our wall. Set the group code to G. The above grade U value is only used for basement walls and is for just the wall itself. The calculations will use this U value for the above grade part of the wall and the plain U value for the below grade part. Enter 0.247 for the above grade U value. Enter a description. Click Save to create our custom basement wall. Let's return to the room data window and add our new custom basement wall to the current room. Click the Loads menu, then click Room Data. Click the Material button to select our basement wall. Click Custom. Click Select. Now let's enter a height of 8 feet for this basement wall. Remember that the dash 6 at the end of the construction code specifies that the bottom of the wall is 6 feet below grade. Since our wall will be 8 feet tall, that means 2 feet will be above grade and 6 feet will be below grade. Now let's add a custom window. Return to the Edit Favorites Recent Custom Materials page. Change the material type to glass. Click Add New Custom Item. Custom glass items are typically the most common custom materials that you will need to create since the U value and solar heat gain coefficient are often already known. Our custom glass is a window, not a skylight. Remember that the first character of the construction code may not be a number. As is often the case, we were given the U value and solar heat gain coefficient of the window, so enter them. 
The glazing arrangement input lets you specify a number that tells the program how much of an effect any internal shading you also enter for the glass will have in the calculations. Let's return to the help to see what we should select. Glazing arrangement number four, two pane clear, seems about right for our window. Select four for the glazing arrangement. Enter a description. Click save to create our new custom window. Let's add our new custom window to the current room. Click the Material button, then select our custom window. Now let's create a custom door. Click Add New Custom Item. Doors are the simplest custom materials to create, with just three inputs needed. For the construction code, remember not to start with a number. Click Save to create the custom door. Now let's add our custom door to the current room. Thanks for watching.